very happy yeah. that you um, agreed to join me on this small talk. And um, I've known Kay for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I think we met through Jason in England at a time and spent time at Kay's house, spent time together in Cork doing mediumship. And she's been here in Germany as well. And it's always been a lovely time. And I've always found Kay to be a very interesting medium. Um, <laughs> uh -oh. Very, yes, <laughs> very <laughs> precise and, and on detail. And um, I, I like that about you because where um, sometimes uh, other mediums can go really quick and fast with their evidence, uh, you would be um, very precise and, and very giving out details that no one else would maybe get because um, I think you need to take your time with spirit to practice and to exercise to get that sort of information from spirit. Yeah. And um, so I asked Kay for this little talk because she's written a book mm -hmm. and it's a really nice book. I've actually read it over the summer holidays. It's called The Evidential Medium and it's a practical guide to develop your mediumship. And that I really liked because it's um, not just a book telling you how fabulous Kay is or how wonderful her life has been but it's actually giving you information and exercises that you can use to move on in your mediumship. And so welcome Kay. Um, maybe you'd like to just tell a little bit about how you came to be a medium or how you started developing yourself as a medium. Well, I've been aware of the spirit world most of my life. So the first, um, I guess the first introduction into the spirit world, I was around five. So that, uh, that experience stayed with me all through my childhood. And I was always aware of the spirit world. Um, always felt them walking with me, behind me. And uh, I just uh, accepted it. I didn't know what it was. I called them angels. I, I didn't know what they were. Um, I just called them my angels that were with me that nobody else could see but me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I, I called them. But it wasn't until um, later in life that, uh, much, much later in life, that I decided it was time to stop ignoring and really just delve into it. And it mm -hmm. that pretty much started, uh, well, it started, I lived in Germany for a short while. So it started there. And then when I moved to England, I realized how um, open it was there and, and that there were places I could go and actually learn. And being um, an educator anyway, I like to learn. And so that's where it started really, for me, really started was after I had moved to England and found the Arthur Finley College. Mm -hmm. Learned about circles, never heard of that. <laughs> and spiritualist churches, never heard of that <laughs> until no. England. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, never heard of any of that. No. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's where it started. Good. Yeah. And um, so the Alpha Finney College is a, quite a famous uh, school for mediumship, if you want to call it that way, in England. Um and um, I will put some information and a link in the comments later on. Uh, but what I did find when I met you is um, that you have this special connection with your guide. Uh, and maybe you can just say a little bit about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. Um, so I, I believe it was my guide that I saw when I was, was five. Uh, or maybe I was six, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that was my guide. Um, and the, the neat thing about that, even at that age, when I saw him, I saw him like a CU. And uh, we, our eyes met. And when our eyes met, even at that age, I knew that I knew him. Mm -hmm. I knew that there was something about him. I know that he wasn't real like me, but I felt this amazing love coming from him in the moment that our eyes connected. And that stayed with me. And then um, once I decided it was time to stop ignoring and I started meditating to meet him. 
And I, my dad actually is the one who brought him to me after weeks and weeks of meditating to try to meet him and nothing happening. My dad brought him to me and I knew immediately who he was. And my dad handed him over to me and our eyes met again for the first time since I was a little girl. And uh, I knew that there was this incredible bond between the two of us. And I felt as if I knew him. And I felt that when I was five, too. I felt as if I knew him. And long story short, um, in, the, in the process of sitting with him every day, I discovered that he was an ancestor from many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> many generations back back um and he started to tell me the story of the native american side of my family now you know i only have a droplet of american blood in me now i'm very much a, a, a white woman <laughs> but i always knew that i always knew that about the native side on both sides of my family mother and father mm -hmm. And so he started telling the story of my family history that I'd never heard before, that my mother um, confirmed for me when I uh, started telling her, and she confirmed it. So that's been really, really, really interesting to know that he's there. And I've got another one that, that works with me very closely um, that um, Jason has met her <laughs> i call her mama mm -hmm. um she's a native american indian as well and uh is part of my bloodlines yeah Isn't yeah beautiful to know that you're always supportive in that way you know that you can yeah have the love so nearby because i mean yeah um i i don't feel my spiritual guides i know they're there but i don't actually yeah. feel them so it's really wonderful that you you've actually been yeah. able to see them when you were young and that you can still feel them around you so much yeah yeah it is and it's very nice it's so comforting too because um you know they've you know i had a, a tutor at the college drew uh the one i call mama um she drew her for spirit art and uh, and confirmed everything that they had told me and said this is your ancestor but it's your guide and I went, yes yes Beautiful. <laughs> and confirmed the information absolutely That's yeah cool. so that was also that was very nice to yeah. get that confirmation it must have been yeah, did, yeah. um did, did your guides inspire you to start writing a book or was it um did it come it's, from you or did it come from someone else in spirit what, what inspired it's, you, you know what it's it yeah that's kind of weird as well because i've i've had people from 20 30 years ago actually that would come up to me out of the blue and say when are you writing your book oh. and i'd go what <laughs> <laughs> what book <laughs> and i never understood that but i've had that happen on many occasions and then when um when i started going to arthur finney college i even had people come up to me and say when are you going to write your book and i was like I, uh, what <laughs> but i love writing and i taught writing to children mm -hmm. on a children's level um, but um, I do love writing and so I think it was sitting in in the library at the Arthur Finney College um, listening to the tutors there that that I realized I had to write a book hmm. about my experience so uh, and that's what this book is about it's it's really it's about my journey in in all that I went through um, while living in England and training yeah, I do like that you um, write in the beginning of the book that you were um, uh, starting, I think it was a mentorship, I'm not sure, but you um, felt um, impressed by 
what you called um, some of the other mediums who you felt were more experienced than you and, and oh they were <laughs> you felt like you, well, you shouldn't be there you know and um, no I didn't feel like I could be there at all <laughs> I think that's really nice because it gives um, other aspiring mediums or starting mediums um, you know it, it gives them hope <laughs> in a sense that they don't yeah. they don't have to be brilliant you know you, you can learn and you can grow and you have to all grow in your own time and space so that's really right. nice yeah you, and learn from those people that are um more advanced than you watch them learn from them mm -hmm. you know and that's the that's the thing if you can turn the in because you are insecure when you see that it's intimidating mm -hmm. you know and you're like i don't i can't get up there and do this in front of them <laughs> but the the truth of it is if you just flip that and look at it as they were once here too so they know what i'm going through so it's all good and i can learn from them by watching them so that's a hard thing to do though yeah it was hard for me anyway because <laughs> you are intimidated yes i, can, I can, can safely say i'm not intimidated now <laughs> no you have no need to be <laughs> yeah so um, what i really yeah like i'm not intimidated now but i yeah go on oh I'm, I'm not intimidated anymore but i still look at those that i feel are much better than me and learn from them that I don't think will ever go away. You will always be learning. I think we're learning all of our lives, really. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, it doesn't really matter who's who's better or, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, it is about developing yourself and developing your connection with the spirit. That's, yeah. in my opinion, the most important thing, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. So what I did really like about your book is that you've also put in exercises mm -hmm. um, that people can actually use to work with um to yeah. practice with others or you know with, with in a circle at home or, or i think you've even got something online if i'm not mistaken i do so what yeah. what inspired because i mean i've read a lot of books from mediums and mostly they're only about uh how they journeyed in the mediumship so mm -hmm. What inspired you to actually, you know, put in these exercises and, and um, really wanted to make more like a, a guide, for, you know, like a workbook yeah. almost? Yeah. Well, I I spent a, a good deal of time reading lots and lots of books. I mean, I read I, I read all that was available, I think, back back then. And the thing I got frustrated with was, you know, the books were all good but they didn't tell me anything beyond, yes, maybe I am a medium. Mm -hmm. It talked about the characteristics and things to look for that might point you in the direction of maybe you are a medium, but they didn't tell you what to do if you, if you had those characteristics. What do you do with those, with those characteristics that you have? What, what's next? And so, that frustrated me because I, I i didn't have anywhere to turn for a mentor didn't have classes where i lived or anything so it was really if it wasn't in a book i wasn't going to get it mm -hmm. and i couldn't find it in a book i couldn't go beyond yes you may be you're a medium so i and plus i'm an i am an educator so you <laughs> <laughs> I always take teachable moments. <laughs> it's what I do <laughs> for 29 years. That's what I did. So, um, so I think it was a combination of both of that. Out of my frustration from not getting more from the books that I had had read all those years, but and then on the other side of it is that I am an educator. So, what can I leave with the reader that they might can take with them mm -hmm. to help them? Yeah yeah so that worked <laughs> I, I hope it worked i i hope so hmm. yeah yeah i think definitely i think um for sure if, if you are starting out on this path then it, mm. it will give you a lot of tools and help and yeah and advice. those are yeah and those are all exercises that i did with 
all the different tutors at the college, you know, so, um, and they helped me, you know, so if they've helped me, maybe they'll, they'll help somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So what did you hope to accomplish by writing this um, mediumship guide? <laughs> I, I think just that is that to reach those people, especially in America, because, you know, we don't have an Arthur Finney College here and you know, America is so huge anyway, you know, just to go from the East Coast to the West Coast is five hours by plane. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for people to find a place where they can go and, and learn mediumship. Um, thank goodness we have online now, but um, it was to reach those people who, who, who depend on the books. That's, that was the thing, or couldn't maybe afford to buy a plane ticket and travel across America or travel to the UK, because yeah. it's quite expensive to do yeah. that. So that was my hope. Okay, great. And, and what are your plans for the future? Will there be a part two of the book or um, maybe an Alpha Finley College in America? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I wish, I wish somebody would bring Alpha Finley College to America. <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> maybe you hear that? <laughs> Alpha Finley College, do you hear that? <laughs> um, I, I do plan to write, a, I want uh, it's kind of, I'm kind of doing it backwards. I'm going to do, I do have another book planned to write about my journey with my guide and um, all of that that took place prior really to finding the college or really getting, you know, the, the, the early stages of my development, really early, early stages. <laughs> <laughs> that getting to know my guide and um all of that so I, I hope to write a book about that okay well yeah. look forward to reading that then when it's finished <laughs> as quick as this one so i'll just show um, the book again for anyone who's interested um you can also find Kay on uh online uh, .org, org. Um, if, if you want to look her up or I think, can you order your book over your website or Amazon? Um, Am I Amazon um, goes to many different countries. I know um, uh, Germany, England, India, <laughs> lots of different, <laughs> lots of different countries uh, in it, via Amazon, I think. It came uh, to in, Germany, in the, so. Yeah, in the States, also uh, Barnes and Noble and Maids are bookstores okay so if you want to buy it have a look um thank you very much Kay, for taking the time thank to you. do this with me i uh, really yes. enjoyed it having a small time yeah um, thank you who knows when you've written your next book <laughs> again. yes i'm just trying to breathe right now <laughs> <laughs> well you need to relax as well yes yes